last year. Scotty Pippen, 15 points, three rebounds, six assists in the exhibition win. Hot start. See, Commodore is five and nine. Had that hot start from three with two by Brown and one by Neesmith. That stops a bit of a drought for Southeast Missouri. Up top, Neesmith miss. That was a little bit better of an effort right there. Pippen takes off and kicks it out. This basketball program in a good place with Jerry Stackhouse. Vanderbilt leading by one out of the under 16. Simo right back on the other end for a long two by Skyler Hogan. There's been no opening up any daylight in the second half. It was 32-32 at the break. And pretty much even. <laughs> Maybe all rebounding in defense, huh? That's six new players on their roster, five making their NCAA Division I debut this season. Of, or three of their five field goal attempts, and now four of their six have been. Vanderbilt with a change in athletic director with Malcolm Turner stepping in for the late David Williams. Tough angle from the corner, but Neesmith rattles it home. That's the mark. Rebound to Jordan Wright. Good job by Neesmith contesting that shot. Neesmith gets inside, hangs in the air, and flips it over the front iron. You had number one versus number two in the nightcap, and that was after you had three and four in the early game at MSG. State Farm Champions Classic last week. Neesmith hammers it up at the offensive end. <laughs> and he has had some good play in this ball game so far as well. Lee Smith, baseline jumper, long two. He got the frit. Tucky, most points by a freshman in their debut for the Wildcats ever. And at the basketball mecca to boot. Yeah. The point for Vanderbilt inside four minutes to play. He has come off the bench the first couple of games. Cross court pass and a monster. Had a nice looking shot there for the bucket. And the Spiders have reeled off six straight. Neesmith puts. Neesmith guarded by Gustafson. Neesmith pulls his way to the basket. It's out. You don't hear an athlete say those kind of things very often, but it just kind of magnifies what he went through to get back. Stackhouse and the Vanderbilt staff made. At halftime, Saban Lee starts the second half. That's one of the adjustments. It's great. Jerry, Jerry Stackhouse <laughs> nodding approval. Like, yeah, that's a good one. Lee Smith is a good one. Well, you see who started his second half for Commodore's ball. So he's good. On the team, first time since 2000, they haven't had a senior. They're experienced yet young. Wow. Out the game at 49. Gilliard has nine. Neesmith over Francis and one. 11 45 to go. Lee and Nesmith. Nesmith's turn. Need a stop. Down five. Neesmith with the left hand for a young Vanderbilt team on the road for the first time. React here. Neesmith gets open. Counted. Got for Vandy. Lee or Neesmith? Neesmith. Oh, brother. Don't leave him open. Mark is willing to shoot the ball. So it's exciting to watch the play. Neesmith into the lane and he gets the No good. Vanderbilt looking to go in transition. There goes Neesmith to the rack. He's got it. Points per game. Quick ball movement to the corner. Neesmith connects to deny the second chance opportunity. The Commodores come in transition. Pippen swing outside. Neesmith for three. He saw the shot clock the entire time and was able to knock down the shot over the extended arms of the defense. Kind of just had to put it up, but he got a great look. Evans calling for it here as he gets it from Pippen just a little bit too late. But he kicks to Neesmith for three, and he converts. Falling down low. Taylor on right, and right gets the better of him there. Strong play there from the freshman on the defensive end. And for Neesmith, up and under. Austin Peay constantly monitoring where Neesmith is, but he got open there, and he hits. Look for the contact, but did. Paint and get a 
around a lot of players. They got a lot when other players might not be able to. With the turnover there, and Neesmith up the floor gets wrapped up in the foul. Come away with the win in Virginia. Nice backdoor feed. Neesmith lays it up and in. Big bucket. Down. This has really been a breakout game for Scottie Pippen, showing a lot on both ends of the floor. He gets the steal there. Up to Neesmith. This game is done. Setting a lot of screens. That's going to work well for the Commodores as they continue. He takes it in on a drive here at close. Dylan Sue and Cleavon Brown down there for Vandy. Commodore is very efficient so far this season. That Moyer definitely is a great addition to the defense. Get yourself to the elbow right at that free throw line. And if the defense doesn't commit, go ahead and take that soft jumper. Halfway done, first half. Move it to the corner. This is guy they want from ball <laughs> for right. sure. I'll at least try to do, do something good before I have to go to the bench. Neesmith keeps on firing. Dr Neesmith from the left wing. He can hit him. Junior. Toss able to get back and settle into his defense. Neesmith, he gets the look they want. He got his hands on that ball. Vanderbilt gets a turnover on the inbounds. Neesmith stepped around. He's holding a three-point lead. Neesmith, a contested three. Game like this, the Commodores have got to do a better job rebounding. Back. Going from side to side. Thing. Get a look for him. There you go. From way out there, Aaron Neesmith. Very poised. He doesn't force anything that is not there. Turns it over. Neesmith with the hammer. An open look couldn't make it. Some subs for both sides. The next stoppage. Neesmith. He's so. They are well schooled. They run their stuff. Get some good looks. They're going to run their offense and they're going to make sure that at the end of the day, to get to the point where he's shooting those shots. Whether he thinks he's open or not, he's got to shoot that basketball. Obina lost the handle. Neesmith was right there. Chop went as he forces it up and in. Every single night, you got to show up ready to play. Got to love it. Yeah, it's going to be a fun ride in conference. Things get started in early January. Neesmith. Here the Commodores run there. Out of bounds play, making sure they keep high. Neesmith. He is doing even on turnovers. They're doing a good job of making sure that they get back on defense. Neesmith. They are. To go up that screen. They got two guys on them. Good hand inside by Ublock, but it came back up top. Now Neesmith will try it down. Oh. Indeed, it is. Oh. Here's Neesmith and a nice little inside they go. Step back, fade away from Gonquin, Illinois. On the way to Rockford, the great state of Illinois. Yep. And great Chicago, state. Northwest. Chicago, <laughs> tough shot there from Nice. Oh, he got it to go. Right. So you, you know. All kidding aside, yeah. Right. How were you when you coached? I was uh, a little too much hitching, switching. I was moving too much. Too much Don Knotts? Yeah. Too much. Oh. The corner, and it's stuck. Back to Williamson now. What a basket. John Wade was trying to feed Tate Hall there. Knocked away. Here comes Easton Smith back the other way. Beautiful job adjusting. And the result was something special. Yep. Crutwick now with nine assists in the game. Open look, and Neesmith's going to knock that point down. land right at the top in the SEC in a bunch of different categories. He has been awesome so far. Neesmith, a look from straight away. Didn't miss that one. Well, I think the thing is, for, the, for this Commodore team, they are not a great one-on-one -on -one basketball team, but as much as possible, they can get it moving and kick out. Turnover. This Commodore defense is just one step faster. Neesmith on the pull-up. Rattles it home. Even Lee. Neesmith. Sometimes you just see him step back and take the three. Settle back in, but... Neesmith. Oh, did you at least get some sides out of the deal? No. Step back, Neesmith. 
evident by the baseline dunk we saw. Just a bad pass. There's a lead for an easy two for Neesmith. It's a tough place to take the ball out of bounds. Neesmith, there you go. Well, it's just them being more aggressive. They're not doing anything special, and certainly the defense isn't doing anything special. They just got to. Neesmith struggling significantly against the length and athleticism of Isaiah Michael. Shooting team they haven't shot it well here early. I think the uh, post of three point line moved back more than 16 inches this season. Uh, it's compared <laughs> direct quote. He said, We either want to get into the rim or shoot three. That's what Aaron Neesmith does off the nice dish from Pickett. Neesmith from the corner. Wild open against the Vikings in the dome tomorrow, and then six days later, the national championship game. I like the Vikings in that one tomorrow. Ron Hunt climbing the ladder, couldn't quite get it home. That's going. Nice. Vanderbilt leading by five. Another ball fake and sidestep. <laughs> As hot as Shagwa was in that first half, he was making everything. Can't buy one in the second. Oh, my goodness. For over 30. You got two 34 point games this season. Neesmith straight on. It's on this Auburn club. Dangerous pass stolen away by Neesmith. Neesmith all the way. Finger rolls it home. Well, they won the SEC championship. Then they won the SEC tournament last year. SEC championship before that. Mm -hmm. Last year, the tournament. Then the final. Flanagan on Lee. Now they changed up. Shot clock at two. Neesmith on a force off the worries that he's burned on that sideline uh -huh. tonight. Well, you're welcome to take your jacket off. Neesmith starts it's a six point game. And still, you got that feeling. He's a confident bandy team. And Neesmith, the other three just need to play off the two. Smith finds a three. Got it! Plus the... Dowdy on D. Smith is the key. Coro is on D. Smith now, who launches a three. He got it! Money.